Hey everyone, today I want to share with you a really a complex pattern actually. So if you're new to somatic groundwork, you haven't really worked through any of the star seed patterns yet, so body half or body half extension, this probably isn't the place to start. So I recommend going back and making sure you have those fundamental practices kind of mapped in your body so you can really get the benefit of this. If you have been practicing star seed and you want to take this a little bit further and really get into sensing through your form and working with your fascial matrix in long pathways of connectivity, this is for you. What we're going to do is move from body half flexion to body half extension to twisted star, and then we're going to find that same thing on the other side. I decided to do this today because, well, wow, my body really needs it. and. That way I can give you some really exquisite feedback because I know that I'm going to be sensing this one for sure. So find floor, come into a star or X on your back, and let's get started. As you come into the floor, take a few minutes here to drop in, to move through your grounding resources, so bring it, bringing attention to how your eyes are seeing and the clarity with which your eyes are seeing. Tuning in to where you're contacting directly to the floor. So I'm feeling this through my arms, head, upper back, hips, down my legs, heels. So spending a little time bringing attention to where your body is in contact with the floor. And not only meeting the floor, but also allowing the floor to rise up and meet you. So there's this reciprocal relationship. And as I'm moving through that process, coming in to noticing my breathing, my body breathing me. And using a few of my breath cycles to really help facilitate this yielding and connection, this settling into the floor. And then now with a few breaths, see about tracking with your mind's eye at first. So this might be a visualization and then sensing into this a sense of radiating from your belly button out. So the way that I do this is as I inhale, I extend kind of the reach through my hands, head, tail, down my feet. You could bring some energy into that if you wanted, so some dynamic. And then exhaling, everything moving back towards center. So there's a pulsing kind of quality here in this cortidistal. I'm going to give you an opportunity to see how you are in each leg, each arm, through your torso. And this might lead to spontaneous pendiculation, or for me, there's some inner impulses. I'm Noticing where I'm carrying excessive tension and my body's asking for some movement. So there's a little bit of unwinding occurring here. Now, as we go into body half flexion, we'll use a similar kind of breathing support. So inhaling, reaching limbs out and away while still staying connected to center. Exhaling, eyes looking down and knee and elbow come together on one side while the other arm and leg start to wrap around. A few yielding breaths here. Checking back into again the quality of your gaze. My eyes are gazing right into my palm. 
But I'm also going to look beyond my palm. There's a bookshelf that's out of the camera view. I'm noticing the clarity of how I'm seeing, what my focus is like. And I'm also going to pay attention to what I'm feeling through my tissue architecture. So really big experience for me along the side of my body, outer hip, kind of into the deep volume through my viscera, all the way through the shoulder, neck. And I'm also feeling this kind of squeezing of the knee and elbow that are coming together, opening through this hip, thigh, Bring attention to where your foot is contacting the floor, the one that's folded, the leg that's folded. And what I'm going to do here to initiate body half extension is bring my knee up to the ceiling. I'm going to find full contact with my foot. I'm going to begin pushing or bridging through that leg. Follow that pathway, sequencing it up through my spine. Bringing my eyes now into part of this spiral. And I find my eyes looking now towards my extended arm or this expanded side. So in this body half extension, we still have the same body half expanded or unfolded and the same body half folded or flexed but we've changed the orientation of our spine and our eyes. It's quite a different experience. And taking a few breaths to check in here. So yielding what you can. Noticing what sensory feedback you're getting here now and see if you can really track those pathways through you. So connecting the dots of sensation, it's kind of like putting a constellation map together in your own body, sensory map. And now this body half that's behind me, I'm gonna start drawing it across. So my leg is gonna come across my midline. So my knee is moving across, my foot will find the floor. And I'm drawing my arm up and behind me and then I'm doing a very strong reach out. Both of those limbs changes my whole body into even a greater extension pattern. And now we're in Twisted Star. Oh yeah, and I'm getting some big feedback, definitely. I'm gonna find yielding through my head. And I'm noticing that I'm continuing to intend reach out my fingers and feet and then yielding my middle body, finding my breath. Now from here, we're gonna go into body half flexion on the other side. So I'm actually gonna start this with my eyes. So I'm gonna start drawing my eyes down towards my body while I fold my right arm, my right knee is going to spoke through under the other leg. And I'm going to begin organizing body half on the other side. And now my right side is folded and my left side is extended. Ah, so we did that phrase on one side of the body and now we're beginning the second side. Body half flexion. I do recommend keeping your eyes open, at least for the transitions here, so that you can stay connected to the patterning of your vestibular system while you move. So again, I'm gonna take my right knee up towards the ceiling, find my foot on the floor, and using a push to begin sequencing force through the center of me, using my eyes then as a moment of reach as well as the crown of my head and then pausing and finding moments of yield in body half extension 
So we essentially went from a kind of flexed folding in towards our center spine to an extended expanding away from our center spine. And then this body half that's behind me, so that's my right side this time, I'm going to draw the knee across my down leg. I'm going to reach my arm up towards my other hand. And then I'm going to spoke actively the right fingers and toes away. Ah, and let it pull me into a longer extension. So it shifts my rotation just a little bit. Twisted star. And tracking your sensation here. What do you feel and where? And then we're going to find our body half flexion on the other side. Again, I like to use my eyes to do this while the knee and the elbow start coming together. There's a little sticky spot for me in my hip as I'm kind of moving into it, making whatever adjustments or agreements you need. Oh, there's a little tiny pendiculation. Big exhale. And let's go ahead and find a little bit of a reset back into star. Allowing that reset to be whatever your body would like. So rhythmic rocking can be very beneficial here. A little bit of soft body rolling. Seems like that's what my body's choosing. And then when you're ready, settling back into star. And we'll do this again, but this time with a little bit more continuity between the pieces. And you with an inhale and an exhale to come into body half flexion. Pushing, finding body half extension. Crossing the arm and the leg, finding twisted star, and then knee and elbow on my right side come together, body half flexion. Right into body half extension on the other side, moving my way into twisted star, and body half flexion. So as you practice this, I bet that you'll see that having your eyes open and using your eyes really consciously for support and as part of this entire pattern is very helpful. And what I find as I'm doing this is that it becomes a series of arcs and spirals and one continuous movement. Oh, and then finding your kind of ending for that in any way that your body's asking. For me, tummy time seems to be where my body would like to end. And now there's a little bit of rhythmic rocking through my hips. That's arising. Well, thank you for joining me for this little reset here. Oh, I know that once I come to standing, I'm going to feel a real difference. Do make sure as you come to standing, you take a nice, easy way up. So I recommend finding a few different positions, a few mid-level positions, then maybe coming into a sit, then maybe you come up to your knees, finally feet, and then rolling yourself up to standing Checking your perceptual shifts at each level change. Again, using your eyes as part of this pattern, continuing to stay present with your breathing. And once you come up to standing, checking in for a moment on your feet, noticing how you are, and seeing 
a way in which you can continue to carry this practice with you through the rest of your day. A little bit closer to natural being, that of being mentally calm, emotionally steady, and physically grounded. Thanks, everyone. I'm Kayla June, and this is Somatic Groundwork.